Welcome everybody to Rusty Money Gaming here on YouTube, a place where we gather in the barn house for challenges, live streams, let's plays, and more. So I hope you will sit back, relax, and enjoy this next creation by myself, Rusty Money. Good day, good people. Welcome everybody, it's Rusty Money here on PlayStation Network and Rusty Money Gaming on YouTube. We are here on Maple Farm with another episode of the No Tractor Challenge that was created by Worko Entertainment and shared in my Facebook group, Farming Simulator Challenges, and in my Discord channel. So, this challenge was created by Worko Entertainment on YouTube and currently myself and Warco Entertainment and Mr. P's live gaming house and Felden and Heavy Metal Gaming are content creators on YouTube that I know that are doing this challenge. There may be some others that I'm not aware of, but those are the ones I'm aware of, so I will keep posting their links in the descriptions of each video or live stream, and I'll go back through and make sure I haven't missed any, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I haven't missed any. But we're putting in a barley field here right now. We have a wheat field there to below this uh, barley field right there that's growing green right there. And we're going to put oats here on the right-hand side of the harvester in the other field. But we got to finish getting this barley in right now and then get oats in the other field. We have quite a bit of eggs um, produced and uh, on a trailer to be sold um we also have one chicken coop already full of chickens we are in our second day of march as i have uh, slept through the winter we only have like seven thousand liters of silage that is available in our fermenting silo there's no more grass to be fermented we have, I believe, like 36,000 or 46,000 liters of digestate down at our biogas plant that we could go get and sell. Um, we do have some corn we could sell, and I think we might have some sunflowers, maybe, or soybeans. We'll have to look at all that here. All right, so that is the barley field now, all seeded in. Now we're gonna put oats in this field right here, but let's do, let's look at the at the menu for the silo really quick. And we're also gonna look at that. Let's shut that off. Let's hop out of it for right now as well. And we'll look at our menus and we'll show you what's going on with our animals as well. So, in our silo, you can see we have, yeah, 25,242 liters of sunflowers and 28,991 liters of corn. And then uh, we have 23,681 liters of milk, 102,425 liters of silage, 234,681 liters of straw, now, I think some of this might be, I'm not sure about that straw. That might be colliding with my multi-fruit from the cow barn, which I hope it's not because it's actually not close to the cow barn. And then we have 28,000 liters of manure, 35,000 liters of slurry. 7,000 liters of lime and that is it so that's what we got going on there all in our silos 
Okay, so now let's see our animals. So this animal pen up here is full. We have 600 chickens in it. That's all it holds. And it's already full. So I might sell off uh, some of these chickens and uh, let them reproduce again. And then we have 36 cows right now. And they're 40% reproduction. Our other chicken coop has uh, quite a bit of chickens there. You can see, uh, let's see, 240, so what, 360 chickens and two roosters in this one. And I'm not sure how many chickens are in that chicken coop. We'd have to go down and look and see how many it holds. Okay, so that's that. Now. The other thing is, is we got some fertilizing contracts we can maybe do. Uh, we just haven't done any contracts yet, really. Um, our productions here, if we go up here to Reef Sawmill, we have some planks we can go sell. It is shut off. Nothing in uh, Warco's Mill. Nothing in Big A's BGA. Ooh, we have 75,000 liters of digestate. Okay, I was way off. <laughs> and we have 7,000 liters in Rusty's fermenter of silage. We have 17 hours on this, and we have only collected two collectibles, cut down 14 trees. And I want to look at something else. So something else I just noticed, and maybe it's just that time of year, time of day. But here in used vehicle sales, there is no items available. <laughs> it says there are no items on this page. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that before, where there was no used vehicles in the shop available to purchase. And it's 8.45 in the morning. Okay, so um, we're going to get back in our harvester here. And we're going to put some oats in this field now. That's what's going to go in this field. We'll have to get these fields rolled. Um, but we're going to go hopefully buy uh, another new piece of equipment probably sell a piece of equipment actually um, that we just bought <laughs> but we have a hundred seventy three thousand dollars so it's not like we don't have uh, money that we could uh, mess around with now um, do we have Man, because I'm doing so many challenges and I can't keep them straight. <laughs> uh, do we have any debt? Uh, yeah, we have no no loan. Okay, all right. Shoo, good deal. Couldn't remember which uh, challenge that was that we might still have debt on. That must be uh, my Baker's Dozen challenge that we don't got debt paid off yet. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna put oats here in this field. And then um, we will consider what we wanna do with the other two fields. And I'm not quite sure what I wanna put in those other two fields that we have available to seed or plant. Uh, but we're gonna get a lot of straw off of these three fields here. So we are going to uh be spending some money on uh putting down some new placeables here for our gameplay in this no tractor challenge um we might even go ahead and go buy some sheep or pigs and get those started and i'm probably gonna buy the feed for them to get them started anyway we do have some feed that we could give the pigs. But I do want to try and do all the animals except for horses. 
and see what we're gonna do. I could buy another one of the farms and uh, get that all set up the way I want that to be set up. But for right now, I think we'll hang on to not buying any more land. We'll use the land that we have for right now. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking anyway. So, we're going to continue here at putting in these oats. So there you can see uh, my trailer with eggs there off in front of the, or behind the silage bunker right there. And uh, we could go sell some of them or wait till it's full and then sell them. But in order for it to get full, we're going to have to probably get moved into another day. And I'm not sure we'll get moved into a, another day um, in this episode here. But we'll see what we decide to do. Alright, now I might try and put a worker on this and have him finish uh, seeding this oats for us here. We'll see uh, what kind of uh, direction our worker will go when he goes to seed this field. So let's put him on here. And watch him see the field in a Massey Ferguson Activia. We'll put that down and we will see. Now watch what he does to the harvester in order to operate as a worker. He unfolds the harvester and I didn't have to do that. <laughs> now if we continue to watch this worker, as you can see, it's not Rusty Money in his cowboy hat and vest. It's some guy in a white t-shirt. He's going to turn around here with no problems. And, uh, yeah, looks like he's going to maintain my direction that I was going. Not make any kind of new pattern. We'll touch up the areas that he might not quite get. As you can see there, there's still a little spot of lime right there. Unless he gets it uh, when he turns the cedar. Yeah, we'll have to get that at the end. All right, we're going to hop out of here and let this guy uh, continue to seed our oat field here for us. So let's get into our truck. And we're going to go, I think we're going to go buy something. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go buy something else that I found in the mod hub, everybody. I'm really playing around with mods in this challenge because right now my money is really well. But, you know, I picked a really good map to play this on. <laughs> Because you could buy the farms and sell the buildings and make some money. And use only what you want to use. In which I have uh, sold a lot of what was on this uh, farmyard. And kept some other parts of it and put up an extra shed. But we're going to go sell this uh, trailer here that we just purchased. I think in our last episode or live stream, um, yeah, because I found a bigger one that holds, let's say, uh, 10 times the amount of this and doesn't cost very much money either. The only thing I don't like about it is, is it doesn't have a lot of customizations for paint colors. There's only two different styles. Uh, but uh, I also understand why it's that way because it's uh, making it appear like it is in real life type thing. You wouldn't see any of this piece of equipment that we're going to buy um, in any other color really except for the two that uh, we would be able to purchase this in. Oh, we got jackknife there a little bit. Let's get this uh, in here. We can do this. We've been doing it all along, haven't we? Just got to play a little breaky dance, footwheel work. 
We're getting really good at this, you know it? <laughs> Don't tell nobody. Alright, let's sell that. We just bought it, too. But we're gonna sell it. It's only got a half hour on it. <laughs> we will repair it for $2, repaint it for 309 and sell it for 11000 all right well now we're gonna go buy something much bigger y'all gotta check this out if you haven't seen it i hope it works too if it doesn't work i guess we'll come back and buy this other one or we'll buy a different tanker that i know works all right so we need to go here in tools miscellaneous and we're gonna buy this right here this tanker trailer imt 525 Okay, so you can see there at the information it shows 40,000 liters. Well, it upgrades to 100,000 liters. You can see that that has a base price of 53,000. Okay, now I've went through these options here, and I don't want any warnings on it. Um, you can get all kinds of different placards for this. You can see there they're changing. Um, I'm gonna do nothing. Okay, side boxes. I'm gonna take the side boxes off because I don't like that. Uh, front mud guards. Uh, you can do mud guard only, which is a little safety mud guard coming off the sides of the front of the tanker there. Or you can do nothing. Or you can do mud mud guard and mud flap. And I'm going to. Uh, do nothing and ladders you can put the back ladder on or take it off we're gonna leave that on I like that there the other thing you can do is pipes so you can do front pipes which are the ones that are underneath or nothing or you can do back and side pipes um, and then you can do front and side pipes or back pipe and I'm going to do uh, front and side pipes that's what I want I kind of like that look and you can do reflective or no reflection I'm gonna do reflective just add a little something to it since we can't color it back mud flap we're gonna do back mud flap or you can do nothing or back mud flap too, which puts a mud flap then in front of the tires as well. And we're just gonna do back mud flap. Um, or you know what? No, we'll do uh, back mud flap too, and put put the mud flap in front of the tires as well. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, okay, so at 40,000 liters, you can buy this for 57,200. Now, a really neat thing, everybody, uh, is, okay, there's a whole bunch of wheel setups here. You can do all kinds of wheel setups. I'm just going to do the standard two axles right there. But now, um, main color, you can see you only got this chrome and then stainless steel. I don't like that stainless steel, so we'll do chrome. And then on design color, which is your uh, protections there above your tires, around your tires, the mud flap area or mud guard area, you can paint that a different color. I'm going to keep that as chrome as well. But if you go up here to capacity, you can see that our price is 57,200. And if we change that to 100,000 liters, <laughs> our price stays at 57,200. And we're going to buy it just like that. And this trailer is going to be beneficial here. So for 57,200, we can haul 100,000 liters of liquid. And this will take, uh, um, oh, what kind of fuel is that that's got the plus sign anyway? And it'll take water, milk, fuel, uh, herbicide, 
fertilizer, digestate, and slurry. So it does the four main things I want it to do, which is water, milk, digestate, and slurry. The rest of it I don't care about, really. But it's sure nice to be able to have. All right, so um, we're going to, yeah. Yeah, 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 look at that there. Okay, let's hop in our truck here. And we're going to connect up, and we got some things that we need to move around now. Check this out. Isn't this going to be sweet? Oh, yeah, look at that right there. We got 100,000 liters. We can haul. That's going to be nice because I can see us having to move around a lot of product here. And uh, not being able to uh, do more than 40,000. If we would have went with 40,000. Um, yeah, this is going to be way better. Okay, our worker has done as much as they're going to do. So we need to get back to finishing that field there. But now, if you see, we pull into our farmyard here, kind of drive on the grass. And let's go back to our slurry point and get that to start with. See what's in here. fill that. Ooh, that kind of fills fast it looks like. That's kind of nice. Numbers are going up. Pretty decent pace. And this this amount of slurry right here is going to go, guess where? Down at Big A's BGA. Alright. 35,000 liters right here. So let's take this down to Big A's BGA and put that in there and turn this into some more digestate and goodies okay now we're gonna take our other access road here down to our other farm location where big a's bga is and deposit this in there We'll see, we'll take that uh, amount of digestate that is there and have that all cleaned up. So we get 75,000 liters of digestate out of there, put in our truck here and take it over and sell it. And before we go over there to sell that, we're gonna buy another place, placeable and put it over here, I think at this area. All right, so let's deposit the slurry and turn on our BGA. All right, so right here, let's turn that on and have that make us some more good stuff. And we have manure from our cows that we can move down here too. All right, that is going to be really nice. Okay, now let's load this boy up with some digestate. Man, that really does kind of fill fast. I like that. It fills at a pretty decent pace. And some of these uh, trailers that a guy uses, uh, they don't fill very quick or unload very quick. This one has a pretty decent pace to it. I'm not, yeah. I definitely like the price tag. Now, the only thing I wish you could do is I wish there was some customizations, some more, at least color customizations. Now, like I said, you know, before we purchased it, it makes sense to just have it chrome or stainless steel. That's what you would see most of these tankers hauling fuel and stuff like that across the world uh, would be in this kind of style. They wouldn't be painted at yellow, green, or blue, or anything like that. <laughs> but 
but it would be nice to be able to paint this. Ooh, this is this is gonna be some nice money right here that we're gonna get to. Yeah, almost seventy five thousand in here now. All right, let's go sell this. Oh, I knew we were gonna get caught up there. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Seventy-five thousand three hundred and forty-four liters of digestate we can go sell over at uh, our slurry yard, which I can't remember who owns the slurry yard. I think we have the slurry yard owned by Felden. I think. I think it's Felden Slurry Sales. We'll take a look. Whoop. We moved. We went the wrong way. Cut across this guy's field here. Get back on our road. We need to go out this way. To get over to that other farm. Oh, wow. Look, this is, this is nice. I like this a lot. <laughs> Especially that price tag, you know. The other one that I use is a, a black tanker trailer, and it costs like seventy-two thousand or seventy-nine thousand to purchase. But I don't remember it holding a hundred thousand liters. I think it only holds fifty thousand. I can show you which one that is in the store uh, once we get down here to sell this. We'll look at that in the store. And I'll show you what the other one is that I like to use. You've uh, seen me use it on No Man's Land if you've been watching any of that or been in any of the live streams. I've been using it on the Build It Challenge on No Man's Land. All right, before we sell that, yeah, let's look in the store at this other tanker I use. So the other tanker I like to use is actually up here in trailers, if I remember right. And it's a double pack. It's got a, a junior tanker and then tanker senior. And right here you can see tanker senior is 79,000. Holds 50,000 liters. Now it does hold some extra items like uh, lime, stone, and... Um, your canola oil, your sunflower oil, and your olive oil, grape juice, and a couple of other things there. I can't remember what those icons are. They're at the end, the green one and the blue one. So, yeah, that's more expensive and holds less than what we got right now. We spent less and hold more. <laughs> with the one we're using right here so let's uh unload this and watch that money grow and as we are looking in the store there my notification for my brand new game just uh let me know that it's time to play that game it's available to play on the pre-order so we'll maybe give that a look But we got a couple more things to try and do here before we end this uh, episode. 99758 dollars right there, everybody. <laughs> that is some nice work, I would say. Man, I love my biogas plants. But I don't enjoy uh, spreading slurry or digestate like other people do. I don't like that part of the game because in my parts of the world you don't see much slurry or slurry spreading like that. You see more big crop protection sprayers spraying fertilizer and other uh, chemicals. So you see a lot of big 4940s in case, uh, case, cases in New Holland, 
crop protection sprayers in my area. Okay, let's go back up here to the farm now. We're going to clean something else up. We got $227,000. Holy cow. If I can hang on to that money, I might actually uh, sell my BGA and get a new BGA that I want to try. But now we're going to back up to the milk over here and we're going to clean up our milk. I want to put that milk in my silo. Just kind of keep our cow barn clean here. And look at that uh, pile of manure right there building up in the bunker um, that we have available. 23,000 liters of milk right here. Now I think we can store this in our silo. So let's go see if we can. I hope so. Yes, we can. Good. That's where I want to put it. I want to put it in here for right now. Okay, so that is that. All right, so now let's go ahead and we'll put this trailer over here by our other trailers. Oops, we should maybe turn around. Put it put it the same direction as our stock trailer is. Our bull rack is what a lot of people here in the Midwest call them. Park this right next to our bull rack. Alright, now back this in here. Uh, pretty particular about this stuff. Gotta make things look nice, you know. Too many times I get uh, everything in disarray on my farm. Uh, we're going to drop the tail right there. Sweet. And, uh, you know what? We're going to hook this up. We're going to pull it out. Yeah, we might end up going to buy some livestock. Okay, we're going to leave it right there. Park right in the middle of the place. Let's get in our harvester here. We need to finish. Uh... Oh, well, we didn't want to do that. Sorry about that, buddy. See, our harvester's confused here. There we go. We got to get it back into its position for us to operate better. So we have to lower that uh, lifter and unfold our harvester. Or fold it back up, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we got to put oats in the ground right here. So, oops, nope. We need to get on our right thing to be able to lower our cedar. There we go. Now we're cooking. Now we can put some oats in the ground right here. And get this all done. And decide what I'm going to put in the other field. I really would like to do a cornfield. So I think... In my big field, I'm going to do corn. And then in that other small field, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm really thinking about getting corn in the ground, which we probably should. Then we'll have a nice uh, stockpile of corn for our pigs. Alright, so we can go put this in the shed for right now. And then we can get the planter out here later. Oops. We're going to damage it if I run into that wall. 
Ooh, okay. We're colliding here. Okay. Alright, dump that off. Okay, there we go. Let's just park our harvester in here now, which is called our tractor in this challenge. <laughs> Let's hop out of there. All right. Well, let's go. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, we should go buy some pigs. But before we go buy some pigs, we could get in our truck here. Oh, yeah. This don't have... Uh, I can't put the... I'm thinking of my wrong truck. Yeah, I'm thinking of the wrong truck. Yeah, not that one. Okay, so I need... How do I want to do that? Because um, I don't have another trailer right now. Unless I go buy one. Do I have one? I don't think I have another, like, uh, crop trailer, grain trailer. Um, yeah. Okay, so. We can't do that, then. Yeah, we'll figure out what we want to do. We're going to go buy... Yeah, we're going to go buy some, uh, some piggies, I think. Let's go buy some piggies. Yeah. Alright, let's go on down here. I think the animal dealer's this direction, if I remember right. Oh, there it is. I see it. Uh, but we might have missed our turn, so we'll take uh, we'll take some other roads to get. To oh no, the turn's down here. Yeah. Well, we're gonna take this road. Yeah, this is the road right here. This is a shortcut road to it anyway. Okay, and we got to get this big truck in there. That's the only difficult part. So, we're going to have to turn our hazards on. Let people know that we're backing in, but there's no traffic anyway. Everybody's gone. Let's get on the loading dock. Make sure we back up to that loading dock. And our big old Wilson. There we go. That should work. Alright, let's buy some pigs. Okay, so... We need... Uh, we need some of these right here, I think. So we're going to buy 50. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we'll buy 50. Why not? I think we're crazy, but yeah, let's buy 50. <laughs> Fill our trailer with pigs. Okay. Um, It didn't buy them. What? I want 50. Buy. Oh, 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 duh, 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 I don't own, I don't own a pig barn yet. Oh, duh, how, how idiotical am I? <laughs> we better go buy the pig barn first. Thank goodness we're right in the area. We can buy that. Uh, 
All right, let's pull in here. Let's hop out right here. Okay, we need to buy this place. All right, we're buying this right here for 31,000. All right, now you can see that uh, this will hold a thousand pigs. <laughs> Whew, that's a lot of pigs. And I'm going to go buy 50 to start. All right, well, well, there's only one way to do it, I guess. Just do it, huh? Let's go. Buy her first load of piggies man we have 36 cows 50 pigs oh and we got like uh, a lot of chickens <laughs> oh now I'm lost oh we're on the back side okay We're on the back side of the animal dealer here. Taking these shortcuts. The way I want to play this anyway, you know. I like having the ability to do what you want in this game sometimes. Alright, so let's uh, back up now and let's buy those. Now we should buy able to buy those. Um, and buy a full load, 50, we're going to buy 50, alright, we got 50 piggies, here we go, this is going to, this is going to keep us busy, oh yeah, this will keep us busy, alright, well, we'll get them down in their pasture, Down where these piggies go. We're going to have to call our good friend Chad from CBW Farms LLC to come give us some good tips on how to raise some good quality bacon. Alright, so let's pull down in here and unload these. This is the other part of the game I like. Being able to haul your livestock around. Especially in these big trucks. I love doing it in these big trucks. Alright, we get them unloaded right there. And move them to husbandry. Sweet, we got 50 pigs in that big old pasture right there. Now we got to get feed for them. We'll, we'll do that. We got $170,000 left. I'm going to go ahead and get them pigs fed everybody but i think we'll end it right here for this episode so if you would uh drop me a tasty one on that like button which is better known by myself as a cop battery and by you all people as delicious donut don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment section and please share a box of donuts to all your friends and family by sharing the videos and live streams from the channel but for myself rusty money we'll see you all on the flip side everybody have a good one